Good morning, my dear 11th class students. Today, in these times of pandemic, when online classes are going on and the fear of death, fear of corona, fear of getting infected, getting positively infected with coronavirus is there, I think it is the right time for all of us to open on bill page number 13, chapter number 2. We are not afraid to die if we are all together. This is a story, uh, this is almost a real account written by Gordon Cook and Alan East. Two writers have written it. And the chief message, the central message that this story is going, trying to convey to us is this. That uh, the first is of the feeling of togetherness. It is not the cynical way of saying that if everybody is dying, I will also die, I don't have fear. No, it's not that. We are not afraid to die if we are all together in the positive way. That if we are all together and struggling to fight death, that togetherness, the we factor, W-E, we, will become very important. Now, we factor is greater than the I factor. Try to understand it in this way. Try to understand it in this way. The V factor is much, much, much bigger. See this word, illness. See this word, illness. Remove this I by V and it becomes wellness. It becomes wellness. So that's the, that's the magic of being together. That's the magic of being not individual, but as a joint, big, big, big family of the world. Not only Indian or Pakistani or American, but world, planet, earth. That's the central message of. Because this family with a businessman of 37 year old, with his wife and a son. His wife's name is Mary, son's name. You will tell me. And daughter's name, again, you will tell me. Because this summary is okay to know the summary, this, the chapter. But if you want to really answer the questions, you will have to go and read the chapters fully. Sue is the name of the daughter. Jonathan is the name of the son. Okay, I will tell you the answers, but they are my, my answers. It should become your answers. And it will happen only if you read. Okay. So this family is having a dream. And this is a story of 18, uh, sorry, 1976. In something like uh, 1776, one Captain Cook, Captain James Cook took a travel along the world and it was a very lengthy travel. And this family wants to again travel the world in a ship. You must have heard that around the world in eight dollars, think songs like that or films like that. It's the same. A journey is taking place, and the ship which they have got has a name, and it's called Wave Walker. Again, you will tell me. Sometimes I will ask you, what's the name of the ship? Wave Walker. It's a twenty. And describe Wave Walker. It is there. It's twenty-three meter, thirty-ton wooden, hulled beauty. This, is, this would be your answer. The short answer questions as well as the long answer questions, whenever you are reading a chapter, it should be in your mind how to deal with them. How to read in such a way that you see an answer and a question. Both. That's the best way of reading and comprehending. Now the family is taking a travel and they have hired two crewmen. One is a Swiss and the other is a Czechoslovakia and it's a Czech and 
they are the very talented crew man what are their name you will tell me they have hired a recruitment to help them sail across the world and they are on a journey and when they are on a journey the start is very good everything is go- going on very well but suddenly as the christmas goes and as the 4th of january comes they see a lot of storm and tempest and lot of water coming into the ship the crew man and the father trying to balance the ship on trembling waters troubling waters tempest waters storms struggle has come into the life just like this pandemic and people are trying to balance it to balance the economy to balance the job to balance the life to balance the health to keep not only alive but happily alive so the struggle is going on and things are not looking good things are not looking because it is continuing for a longer duration of time and it seems that uh, it might end into a disaster just as it is looking right now also that pandemic might end up in a disaster so is getting hurt because of that water and everything her head is getting hurt and it's swollen but she is not telling her father or her mother she is just keeping it in fact what she does is looking at the way the captain her father is the captain of the ship now looking at the way her father is working she designs a card and a beautiful card where there is a caricature of family she is there her brother is there her mama is there her father is there and then she also writes that you are the best people and the most funny people i have ever known in my life and i am so happy to be you so in a way the same disaster where the father and the mother are getting upset they are thinking that they might die children are taking it in a different way they just are believing that something good will happen and it is happening for something good and it will end up as something good and they trust the amount of trust that the children have the same amount of trust is not seen in the adults oh yeah mind works experiences work Jonathan on the other hand is coming up with a wonderful this is the that becomes the title of this story he clearly says we are not afraid to die if we are all together that's the motivating sentence that the child children are giving over here and the father is worried that see some the father is the the concern of father is because the family is trusting him that he will sail them he will sustain them he will be able to keep them alive along with himself and the boat and the crew men the trust is on father and father is shaking because he doesn't know how it will done so he is all tired up and sleeps only to find that one fine morning there is there are some birds and the children are saying birds are chirping that means the island is nearby and that's how the story ends so wonderful story teaching us so many things teaching how the children view the world teaching how the adults look at the world at the challenges at the life teaching us how to deal with challenges with trust with motivation with work dedication determination perseverance all these are the words which come to us after reading the story do your questions in your copy the short answer as well as the so three types of questions are there over here so i will request you to go for understanding the text talking about the text and thinking about language in fact the entire exercise should be done by a good student of not only english but of life so we are not afraid to die if we are all together thank you so much